The DNC cutting their price for a photo with Vice President Harris. The original price was 15,000 bucks. It's been lowered to $5,000 for the photo. Look who's here. First time, I think, for many, many years on this program. His name is Guy Benson. Wildly popular on this network for some reason. And he's joining us this morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Stuart <an> Varney. <laughs> uh, Vice President Harris. I appreciate Harris, it. Uh, not at all. She's wildly unpopular. Lacks credibility. She can't raise money. But she cannot be dropped. You can't just drop a vice president, can you? No, she's duly elected. She's a constitutional officer. And so they're kind of stuck with her. And they might be stuck with her, Stu, for quite a while. Yep. Because in many minds of certain Democrats, she is the heir apparent should Joe Biden not run in 2024. I think in her mind, she certainly would be. And perhaps could have an eye looking ahead to 2028 if he does run for a second term with her on the ticket. But... I think it's extraordinary. You just listed off all of these adjectives about the vice president, unpopular, not credible, the list goes on. And that's just among Democrats, apparently, <laughs> Democratic donors, because she could not draw a crowd to a DNC fundraiser. They had to delay the whole thing because tickets weren't selling. And then the VIP line to queue up sort of and then get a photo snap with the vice president, and as you said, it was cut by a by two thirds, it was yep. fifteen thousand down to five thousand. I think it's the only thing the price of which is dropping in the entire country under this administration. Sarcasm is a low form of wit, young man, as I'm sure you know. All right, uh, Trump backed uh, Katie, uh, the candidate. Trump backed uh, Katie Britt, defeated Congressman Mo Brooks in Alabama's Republican Senate primary runoff. What's your assessment of Trump's influence, bearing in mind the results of yesterday's primaries? Well, the Alabama Senate race has been sort of bumpy for Trump because he initially very early on endorsed Mo Brooks, who was looking like he was going to finish in a distant third and miss a runoff. So Trump unendorsed him a few months ago, saying, oh, you know what, never mind. And then Brooks actually surged after the unendorsement, made it to the runoff, was begging President Trump to re-endorse him. Trump was sort of hanging back, watching what was happening. And then Katie Britt, this young 40-year-old woman, sort of Mitch McConnell's pick, in the race, a strong conservative. Uh, she was leading in all the polls. A poll that I saw came out, had her up about 20 points. And Trump said, you know what? I think that's my gal after all. So he endorsed her. She took off even further. And she won in a blowout she last did. night. She will be the nominee and almost certainly the senator from Alabama as a very young woman after November. She's only 40 years old. She might be in the Senate for a long time if she wins in November. OK. Guy Benson, that was a pleasure. Don't deny us your presence Great again in the you. future. Okay, we'll see you soon, Guy. Thank you.